come take a look here at the update on a story that we brought you as breaking news last night from Second Ward. Four people, and including a child, they were killed when a private helicopter crashed into a radio tower. Oh, that radio tower, as you can see, came crashing down, and this was in a residential neighborhood near Ennis and Navigation. Incredibly, no one on the ground was hurt. Fox 26's Shelby Rose is live near the scene this morning, and, and Shelby, officials are asking folks to do one specific thing when the sun comes up. What is that? Yes, Houston police have told people who live in this area it's very possible that you may come across wreckage from this helicopter crash, possibly in your backyard, but it's important not to touch it and immediately call 911. Behind me, though, this is the crash site where you can see that they have that this entire scene lit up. HPD has several blocks of Ingle Key around here blocked down and while this investigation continues. It was just before 8 yesterday evening. Houston firefighters are part of Station 17, which is just about two blocks blocks away from where we are right now heard a loud explosion shortly thereafter the 911 calls started coming in and first responders got on scene within minutes now the details we know about what exactly happened and who is involved is limited we're told the private R44 helicopter carrying four people including a child left the Ellington Airport it's unclear though where it was heading the helicopter then crashed into that radio tower killing all inside thankfully though where this crash happened there were no homes directly below, so there have been no reports of home damage or injuries to anyone on the ground, but it is still a very large scene regardless. We got a significant amount. You know, we're looking at a good two to three blocks, but it was a big area of land. Luckily, there was no residence, but it was near residence, but it's, it's pretty sick from what I saw and what we see, but the preliminary investigations do show, you know, a good 100 to 200 yards, maybe more of just the grass, which was in it, you know, ignited by the fuel and the, and the flames. Now, this investigation is expected to take several days. In addition to our local agencies and DPS, the FAA and the NTSB are also investigating. Reporting live on the East End, Shelby Rose, Fox 26 News. Well, this is a developing story. We're not only updating you on air, but on our Fox local app as well. It is now free to download to your phone along with your smart TV. We have posted the entire news conference with city leaders so you can watch that on demand on your time.